everybody and welcome back to another plan with me so today we are going to be planning out the month of june and we've got the beautiful dawn till dusk collection which i'm going to tell you a little bit more about today so if you are new to these videos i assessed up for the month ahead in our week on two pages goal planner um i don't do any actual planning just make it look pretty to give you guys some ideas for using the subscription the sort of things that you can make in your own planners hopefully give you some ideas some ideas of what not to do as well when things go wrong um so yeah let's get into it so the first page as always i'm doing is the um month overview page where you can write down your goals and write down your actions as always for me this is the hardest one to do because it's a blank slate and all these stickers and it's like what do i use first but as you'll see i'm pretty happy with how this one has turned out so the theme for this month and actually we are now into the summer season so this time i'm doing i'm moving towards doing an overarching theme for each season um and this season is all really about getting to some balance so Dawn Till Dusk is all about balancing, moving ahead with self-care. So rising and resting, creating and renewing and celebrating the, you know, the joy in doing and the joy in rest as well. And I love this pack so much just because it's a two in one from a design perspective as well. So as you'll see as I go through, we've got like what I'm calling the Dawn Spreads which is all these lovely hot orangey pinky um, colours and the dusk ones which are more purples, lilacs um, and then you've kind of got all your street lights and moon illustrations and stars it's amazing, I can't wait for you to see the uh, the dusk spread I'm so pleased with how it turned out, you'll see me do that I think it's like the third to last, second to last one that I do um, and it looks amazing so um, loads of good stuff coming up, lots of inspiration for your planner this month so um, just to get a bit more into the theme, one of the things that I think is a good point to reflect on, especially is now we're kind of getting to that middle point of the year, the days are getting longer, we've got the lovely light nights as well, You're not waking up in the dark anymore, um, is to really reflect on your morning and evening routines. So what are you doing each day to move forward on your goals yes but what are you also doing in regards to sort of self-care and some maybe some of your health and wellness goals so for example on our morning routines we can be doing things like daily visualizations or meditations or spending 20 minutes reading a book which is going to help you with the, you know self-education or doing some exercise writing in your journal these things help us get set up for the day ahead and they help us with moving forward if it's like education maybe watching a video on youtube about about a topic you're trying to learn about and also about taking a bit of time for that self-care so having five minutes on the morning to write in your journal to set your intentions for the day ahead and to really decide and choose like how do i want to show up and how do i want this this day to go and then during our evening routines as well like I said, now we've kind of got longer days and the weather's getting a little bit nicer. One of the things that I've started to do, and I always try and do this in the winter, and I always find it so much more difficult, is going out for a walk in the evening. I find that's such a good way to reset for the evening, to get out in nature, to get a bit of exercise in, and to also just find a little bit of peace. Um, I'm going to be talking about this a bit later, actually, if we get time as well, around sort of tracking our habits. Um, but having a think about those evening routines, there's a good time to reflect on that. What time are you gonna put your phone away and stop checking it? What are you gonna do before bed? How can you improve your evening routine to find that time for the self care or get to bed a bit earlier or whatever it is. So this is a really good point in the year to, to really reflect on how we spend our time at the beginning, at the dawn of the day and at the end of the day in dusk as well. So. This is some of the things that we're going to explore in um, this month and some things that I'm going to encourage you to have a think about um, as you plan out your months and as you use some of these stickers as well in your, in your planners and journals. Just a reminder as well, if you didn't catch it this month, um, the subscription is now closed when I'm recording this, but we do have three subscriptions now. So we've got the monthly planning, we've got the monthly journaling kit, and we've also got the duo subscription. So in this video, I'm using a combination of, well, I'm using both of those 
what would come in the duo subscription um, to put this together so you kind of get a flavour. But yeah, um, the duo subscription is like the ultimate stick subscription. So if you love getting really creative, that is the one for you. Um, and if you want to just like dabble, maybe, you know, dip your toes in the water a bit, um, the journal, definitely check out the journaling subscription. So in terms of more creative side, I'm on to doing that monthly spread now. I actually have been using quite a few stickers which came if you are one of the OG, you will remember the Queen collection from last May. These are the number stickers that we got in that collection. They work really well here um, and a lot of the like, moon and stars illustrations I've actually brought back for this collection as well because they just fit in so perfectly. And I always like to add in as well to my monthly overview, the lunar phases, <laughs> just to keep track of what the moon's doing, um, which is something I always um, add in to this spread. As I mentioned as well, you can create really distinctive looking creative spreads with this so we've got the more of the dawn collection and then you've got the dusk and as you can see here it all works really beautifully together as well so you kind of always have I'm kind of calling it a two in one but actually it's almost in a way it's like three in one because yeah you have got like three different quite distinct options but like I said I'm quite excited for us to get to the dust spread in particular because I that is my absolute favorite one um of this so a couple of other things that I thought I would kind of fill you in on that we've got going on behind the scenes at the moment. I mentioned in our last plan with me that we are working on some sticker storage binders, which I'm so excited about. I am currently waiting on a sample to have a look at from our printers. Um, but I'm, yeah, I've got really, really high hopes for these. As I mentioned last time, we've been searching for ages for the, uh, the storage solution inside. I've been trying them out, the samples that I got um, over the last uh, few weeks. And they're a really nice way to store the stickers if you nice and substantial um, as well so I'm really hoping that we can get this together I will of course keep you all updated and get you involved in what it's gonna look like as well and um, take on board all of your feedback we will be doing a probably like a pre-order for this um, probably to help us kind of fund it and get it off the ground and get it going because when you're a small business you um you know you don't have tons of cash often to uh, to invest in big things and we do like to get things made where we can in the UK as well which does make it a little bit more expensive to make it here but it's one of the things that's really important to us is that we we know who the suppliers are who we get things from we're kind of supporting different people in our supply chain as well um but yeah I'll keep you updated on all of this um but yeah, pre-order hopefully coming quite soon. I don't know when, but you know, we'll see. These things always take a lot longer than you think, but I'm really excited about how this is all like coming together. Something else that um, we are working on at the moment is a bit of a reading tracker. And I did just post about this over on Instagram the other day um, to get some sort of thoughts and feedback on it. Um, and I would love to know do you use a reading tracker at the moment and what do you love about it? What would you like from a reading tracker? Um, I have done at the moment, or our idea was that we would do an empty bookcase and we would give you little books as stickers that you could write your titles of the books you read on and then stick them in. So you could kind of make your own, like basically your own bookcase. Um, but I'm just a bit worried about the sizes of them to be honest because some book titles are really long and there's only so many, like you can't just like do one giant book, it's going to look a bit weird. So um, so that's one thing we're sort of trying to play about with at the moment, like how many shelves it needs to have, how big the books need to be. That was our first idea, but I don't know whether you would actually prefer it to be like more of a pre-made thing that you could just fill in rather than actually have to stick the books in. It's a bit hard for me to just describe on here. Um, so make sure you check out our Instagram as well because um, I've been posting pictures of it on there and I get some uh, feedback from you guys on it but like I say I would love to know do you track the books you read at the moment um, have you got any book recommendations for me I'm always looking for book recommendations and uh, what would you actually like what have you been like crying out for that no one seems to make at the moment that you could really do with um, I think that's always um, there's always something isn't there that you're just like why does no one make this so let me know if there is anything that you would find particularly useful around this because yeah like I said it is something we've been working on for quite a while I've actually been developing it since oh, 
well you'll see the sample pictures I'm actually I've got books that I, <laughs> I made in the dawn till dusk not dawn till dusk the dance of the moon colors which was back in when was that March so yes <laughs> I've been dipping in and out of this project you know when I've had the chance um but yeah it's, it's been quite a long long journey with it something else that um we are also looking at is doing some sort of again on the theme of tracking is looking at some new uh, stickers for helping you track something that you are trying to build or like a habit you're trying to build so obviously got the habit trackers in the planners um but i have been using um duolingo for the past couple of months um to learn language and i'm really fascinated by how uh, all the little things it does to make you keep using the app and keep practicing and one of the things it has is this like number of days that you've been like your your day streak so I think at the moment I'm like I'm on that I'm on an 80 day streak and I'm like I have to practice every day even if it's like 10 o'clock at night and I'm really tired just want to go to bed I'm like don't want to lose the streak so I was thinking about whether we could do some some stickers where you could log your own streak for whatever habit you're working on so maybe it's going out for a daily walk or your daily meditation journaling that you could stick maybe in the top corner of one of your journal pages you could fill in the days you could say yeah I'm on a, fi a five day streak for my journaling or a 10 day or something like that so that's one um idea we've had so again would love to know your feedback on that um and the other one is more icons for helping you track exercise so I think we've got a couple at the moment we've got trainers headphones things like that but I'm thinking whether there's any more we could create which would be helpful um one of the things that we're doing uh, me and my mum are doing um next month um is we're gonna set ourselves a bit of a walking challenge and I thought I would share this over on Instagram as well uh, so hopefully maybe inspire you to pick up your own challenge maybe you could follow along with us uh, to you know start up a new sort of summer habit um, and help you kind of you know stay motivated keep us all accountable uh, for each other but I was thinking about whether we could do something around that as well maybe make some more icon stickers to help kind of track when you actually go out for your walks things like that um, but again, would absolutely love to know what your feedback is because obviously I'm just sat here kind of trying to think about ideas of things that would I would find useful and sometimes I'm not, I don't know whether I'm like, would anyone actually else actually want this or not? So again, let me know in the comments if there's anything that you would find particularly useful to help with anything like this. I would absolutely love to know um, and love to hear from you. Right, here we go. I'm finally getting into my absolute favourite of these of the spreads this month uh, you can tell I tried to do something a little bit different there with putting the um, the little mini washi strip underneath the tracker um, I tried to just eyeball it and I got <laughs> lazy what I should have done is measured it and actually cut it properly but you can see there what I ended up doing was I cut it too short so and I also think I stuck it on wonky um, so I had to cover it up with some flowers at the edge see there's always a way to cover up if you make a mess but I wouldn't do it the way I did it if I were you. If you want to cut them in half, I would just measure it <laughs> to, um, to actually fit because it would look a lot better. Um, I sometimes add those um, some stickers like down the side in in a column, a bit more like a vertical planner, which was my original plan for this uh, little spread, but I ended up not doing that. So uh, yeah, basically because I messed it up. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, just again, some ideas here of how you can use some of the more journaling stickers and the uh, stickers that come with the planning kit there. So you can see that one, um, on the left hand side is part of the the journaling um collection but so you can see from this already i am so pleased with how this is all shaping up i think that the colors are all so pretty also it just gives me like such disney vibes as well with those street lamps and the stars it's i don't know it's very romantic vibes maybe that's more like the kind of the right word for it. it's like when you um saw street lights they have, have around like regent's park and places like that which always looks super pretty at night time um but yeah here i am kind of sticking in some of those final ones on this spread but it is definitely definitely my favorite one um of these for this final one i seem to have lost some of the footage for this final bit uh, you'll see in a moment i sort of jump from having like be nowhere near finished to suddenly have everything sucked down so there you go <laughs> sometimes these things happen um 
And just a note as well to say on those the sun stickers this month, um, just be careful when you're peeling those up. I recommend that you, because of all the little rays that stick out, um, I recommend that as you peel them up, you just lift the edges up first, so you avoid tearing them, um, because otherwise they are a little bit, a little bit tricky with all the little, yeah, the little rays that are coming out of them. So I definitely recommend you just take your time peeling those, peeling those off. They come off fine, but you just need to take a take a little bit longer than usual you probably noticed me doing that a couple of times in this video um here i'm doing it again kind of going round, just peeling up the edges before i lift off the sticker and that is it for this month's plan with me um i hope as always you've enjoyed it i think i've given you quite a download there of all the things that we are doing <laughs> there's quite a few things i've asked for comments on feedback on so um anything that you want to feedback to me on that would be amazing um i really hope you've enjoyed this video and you have enjoyed using the dawn till dusk kit um in your own planner as well and as always send me some pictures of what your spreads look like i always love to see and i'll see you all again very soon <laughs>